Hello everyone, uh, this is Bomic and welcome to Cybersecurity TV. Uh, today's video is the last part of the HTML injection. Uh, in the previous video, we, we talked about how to perform the HTML injection uh, penetration testing and how to verify if the site has a vulnerability or not. Uh, in this video, we're going to uh, take a look at the, some of the advanced examples on how you can perform the injection attacks uh, by using a different uh, uh, input parameters. So like, you know, we're going to test it with the user agent, with the cookies, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So uh, let's get started. Uh, I have installed an application called Mutility uh, that's from OWASP, and uh, I have hosted on my local system. So it's on the local host, and this is uh, a vulnerable application. So you can try all sort of attacks if you want to learn the uh, application penetration testing. Uh, the first example uh, I thought uh, we should start with is uh, just a simple HTML injection. So as you can see here, there is a text box and it allows the uh, user to input uh, a blog entry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, say this is a test entry. Click on save. And so you can see it's right here. Now, if we see the page source, uh, and uh, this is a, okay there you go so here it is right it's between the TD tag so what we can do is before uh, we start this one we can put our HTML tags and see if the application allows to insert any HTML tags in it or not so uh, what I'm gonna do is now with the edge one uh, this is a test <clears throat> save and you can clearly see the difference you know uh, this one is the uh, reflection of the h1 tag and if you see the page source again uh, there you go uh, so our tag was inserted as is now as you can see here application did not perform any sanitization or any uh, validation on what user has provided so generally this tag should be encoded or you know escaped by the application uh, before allowing to uh, print it back to the user uh, so that was simple one uh, now let's take a look at what other injection we can do okay so here it says the HTTP header so uh, th what this page allows uh, to do is you know it prints the browser version that I'm using so this is pretty much uh, what you could find in the uh, user agent header on the HTTP request. Uh, if you want to see that, uh, what I've done is I've set up a burp speed proxy. Uh, this is a proxy to intercept the traffic. Don't worry if this does not make sense to you immediately. I will go over and, and I'll teach you guys how to set up the proxy, what, what are the different functions you can do in the proxy and things like that. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to refresh the page. And as you can see here, uh, this is the user agent uh, header, which is being printed out at the bottom of the page. Now, uh, because the application is using the value of this user agent, we can pretty much do the same test and try whether uh, our HTML payloads is being inserted or not. And as you can see, uh, now it's the reflection of the H1. And just to confirm, uh, we can also check here. So as you can see, uh, uh, there, again, there was no application does not perform any escape on the special characters. And that's why uh, the vulnerability exists. Uh, I wanted to show this. Uh, the only reason is uh, mostly Pentester relies on the request parameter and the uh, request body parameters to perform such attacks but uh, in this one as you can see you can also perform the attacks on the using the user agent or any of the header information now <clears throat> one other uh, you could see is the cookie injection okay yes so cookie injection I need to intercept this off so just like the user agent as part of the header uh, uh, what this page does is it captures the uh, request. So like, you know, as you can see here, it captures the session ID as well. And we all know the session ID, uh, this one is being kept in the cookie information. 
now you can also perform the injection attacks on the cookie because some application you would see in the real world they log all these details they log all the user activities they also log the session tokens and everything so if uh, there is a way you if again the application is not perform escaping you can insert your HTML tag and you know uh, you can exploit the log uh, log software where they are capturing the logs and you know the way they view the logs later on so uh, to demonstrate this one uh, again we're gonna refresh the page we're gonna see yeah so the PHP SSID here it is uh, let's try inserting the same value here and let's see what happens and you can see uh, it's now reflected and let's just verify on the back end uh, or on the client side with the source code yeah so as you can see uh, again no um, you know user escape or anything performed here uh, the last attack I want to show today is the uh, HTML storage DOM injection so uh, we'll talk in detail when we talk about the cross-site scripting what is the DOM cross-site scripting but the DOM is necessarily the browser DOM where uh, the processing doesn't happen on the server side it just happens everything on the client side so as you can see here uh, let's say if we put here test test and we uh, store in the session variable so I'm gonna put the intercept on when I uh, so what proxy does is when the client submits something and when it goes to the server uh, uh, the proxy intercept the request before it can go to server now I added new and as you can see there was nothing uh, in here because uh, as I said like you know uh, the DOM so the clients this entire session storage and the local state this functionality they have implemented to work on the client side and nothing happens on the server side uh, just to verify that one you can go here uh, inspect element you can go to the storage uh, session then you can go to the session storage and you can see the values are in here now uh, you can also exploit this so for example uh, let's say uh, you want to do uh, please log in here right and then uh, you can also do br tag just for the new line and then you can do the input type is equal to text name is equal to username and here you can say username and close the bracket right and now you add it and as you can see uh, which in like you know we added the input type box and you can pretty much see here uh, the reflection as well and same way if you go here yeah that's also one way to uh, verify but here if you go to the storage because it's a DOM based injection uh, see the values are as is there was no centrization happened by the application so uh, the idea behind this video was to demonstrate the uh, injection or, or not just the HTML injection but any injection attacks SQL injection you can pretty much perform on any of the uh, parameters like you know on the headers on the cookies or, or whatever the application is using so you should not limit yourself by just exploiting the request parameters or the query parameters or the request body parameters okay so uh, that was it uh, from this video probably uh, next time uh, we'll take a look at the some uh, other attacks uh, I have planned to do uh, some in detail like you know hacking with the cross-site scripting we'll see the advanced attacks with the cross-site scripting how you can exploit how you can steal the cookie we'll also talk about the B framework etc so uh, there are a lot of content I want to talk about so uh, let's see how you want to how you want to plan it out but that's it from this video uh, if you like this please hit a thumbs up uh, subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching bye bye